Who asked for a more in-depth siphon video? Nobody? No. Nobody? Let's do it anyway. Welcome back. Today, we're back in siphon land. We're gonna show you what all this stuff is. We're gonna show you all the options for how to make siphon at home and maybe dive into the technique a little bit more than we did on our last video. We have two different siphon brewers, the Yama 8 cup and the Yama 5 cup. Both of these are great. We prefer the 5 cup, just a nice uh, single or maybe two cups of coffee. But if you really wanna go ham, make a lot of coffee for a lot of people, that's your top option there. The other nice thing about this one, you can put it directly on the stove top. Borosilicate glass, very well tempered, not gonna shatter, not gonna break. Each of these use the same filter. So let's go ahead and go over the, the filter types. You've got this fun springy chain with a little hook on it. That hook is gonna drop through the top of your siphon no matter which one you're using. It can be the eight cup or the five cup. And that little hook just goes on the bottom of the tube right there. That's how you put the filter in place. And these filters are nice cloth filters. They're reusable, which means you can make a lot of siphons before ever having to think about reordering any filters, which is really great. You can see the difference between a well-loved siphon filter and a brand new siphon filter. If it's this color, that's fine. Just uh, make sure you're caring for it the right way, which would be to take the filter device and try to boil it after you're done using it each time. You can get a toothbrush just for your filters that you kind of comb through the threads with. Uh, that's another great way to do it. Ultimately, give it the smell test. If you're boiling this after each use and storing it in clean, cold, filtered water, new water each time, as long as it doesn't smell nasty, you can go ahead and continue to use it. Usually what's gonna happen before it gets too dirty to use is the threads that hold it to the base of the metal part are going to start to fall apart that's when you're gonna to wanna to put a new filter on. To do that, just grab a new filter and use the little open threads here to cinch it around the metal base, tie it off, and you're good to go. As far as your heat sources, you've got a few options. Let's start with the most deluxe. That's gonna be the beam heater, a halogen bulb burner. Um, so these burners are really nice. You have different uh, variables of heat all the way from low to high, so you can kind of pick the best one for yourself. We're gonna demonstrate the, the beam heater as our main option today. But you do have some other options. Your stovetop, uh, not for this guy, but let's say you're dedicated to just using your stovetop at home, that's gonna be this one here, your eight cup. It's gonna go right on to your coil burner, your induction burner, whatever you've got at home. Gas is fine too, might discolor it a little bit, but it'll work on pretty much any stovetop application. Other options, you've got a butane burner, it's got a little injection hole in the bottom. You can get butane fuel from hardware store, camping outlets, inject it with fuel, and then just open this and fire it with the igniter on the side here, and you're good to go. Make sure to close it when you're done so you don't lose your precious fuel. The other option is a wick uh, with an oil reservoir. So this reservoir down here can fit all different types of fuels. I've heard the best is denatured alcohol, which you can get at pretty much any hardware store. Make sure your wick is fully soaked for a good amount of time before you try to use it, but then light this guy up, place it right underneath, and it's gonna take a while, but that's another option for heating your siphon. So there's a little bit of overview on the tools. Some other things you may wanna consider would be like your stirring devices. We recommend Hario's siphon paddles. Yama probably also makes siphon paddles. Uh, they're nice wood tongue depressor looking things that you can use for your stirring. Now, for what you really came for, let's brew a siphon. We've got our filter in place, which means the cloth filter and the chain has been drawn down through the siphon tube and attached with this little hook right here. So make sure that's firmly in place and that your filter is sitting nice and even in that little recessed part of the chamber. Into the bottom bulb, we will add 500 grams of pure filtered water. That's gonna go right in the bottom here. And then we'll start heating our water in the lower chamber. Tube goes back in, snug but not too tight and fire up your heater, maximum heat. So what's gonna happen now is this water in the lower bulb is gonna begin to boil and it needs somewhere to escape to. And the easiest place for that to go through is through that siphon tube where we have our filter chain attached. All that water is gonna begin to rise in this top chamber. And what will be left behind? Negative space, a vacuum, which means when we take this off from heat, all that, all that coffee that's brewed is gonna extract, channel, suck, pull down into this lower chamber. And what's really cool about this method is that you get this really nice domed round shape 
in the top of your coffee. And what you're left with in the bottom is coffee that was brewed with a ton of agitation. You know, the real pull of the vacuum that's left behind in this lower chamber from heating all that water. As far as your coffee goes, get some Anchorhead coffee, grind it to a medium fine consistency. So what does that mean? Let's say you're using an EK43. On our EK43, the dial is right about there from the top. 3.5, so what you could call closer to espresso than filtered coffee. Medium, but with a little bit of fluffiness to it. Okay? Okay. Now I will stand here. Bro, God's plan, God's plan. You can't spell siphon without fun. You can't say siphon without fun. Siphon, it sucks. <laughs> like the unit looks like the sun, man. As you can see, our water has entered the top chamber. So now we, must siphon. I have 30 grams of a nice washed Ethiopian coffee roasted by Anchorhead Coffee Co. That's us. And we've got our 500 grams of beautiful filtered water that's made it into the top chamber. We are going to start a timer, drop this guy in, 30 grams right there. And this method is all about turbulence, agitation, vacuum power. We're gonna let this brew for three minutes. We've got our timer started down here. And once, once that's completed, then we'll show you how to do the drawdown, which is the fun part. Off to the side here, we have a cold towel on ice. We're gonna wring out the water and we're ready for that drawdown. We're gonna start to chill the lower bulb. And what that's gonna do is help accelerate that vacuum, pulling all that brewed coffee down through the siphon tube. And hopefully what we'll be left with is a nice rounded shape to our cake of coffee, which is the fun part. All right, here we are at three minutes. We're gonna go ahead and stop our timer. We're gonna turn off our beam heater and remove the siphon from heat. And what we'll do next is grab our cold towel. This has been sitting on ice and we're just gonna kind of rub the bottom of that lower bulb. And right here at the top of the drawdown, give it one more little spin. It's gonna help accelerate things downward. And what we'll be left with is a nice vacuumed cup of coffee. You can kind of see our little, um, our little mountain starting to emerge on the top. And then in the bottom, that gurgling action, evidence of a siphon brew. Very exciting. We got a dome. From here, just go ahead and remove this top part. Fun fact about the lid for the siphon, also serves as a little stand for your, for your top siphon. Um, so the top piece can sit in here when you're done, that way it's not rolling around on the counter. Nice thing about the cloth filter in this method is that it leaves your coffee with a really clean texture. So you get this really nice sweetness of really well roasted coffees coming through. The texture is just silky smooth. So good. Thanks for joining us. Let us know if you have any questions. Like this video. Smash the subscribe button.